Hey there, stampers and crafters. Tammy Williams here with TammyLovesStampin.com. Have I got a kit for you. This kit is just blown me away. I love it so much. It's called the Best Destination Kit, and it comes with three different designs of cards and um, places that you would go if you're going on vacation, such as the mountains or the ocean or... or um, yeah, just going on a trip with, you know, luggage on top of the car. So let's turn the camera around and I will show you all the parts and pieces that come into this great kit called the Best Destination Kit. Okay, so here we have the box that the kit comes in. Very sturdy box and it's very portable. You can take it with you. Um, when you go on vacation or when you go over to a friend's house to kick you can kit together um, when you open the box uh, the first thing that you'll see in, in all of Stampin' Up's kits are a stamp set or and a stamp stamping spot which is your ink and this one contains a gorgeous grape the color gorgeous grape that will be used to um, on your stamps to stamp your sentiments and your designs. So this is your photopolymer stamp set and you have several different sentiments. You have some clouds and a, a crescent moon and it looks like these dots could be maybe some stars to go in the sky with your crescent moon. Um, so the, some of the sentiments say travel it well, uh, life is a journey, this adventure is just beginning and happiness is the best destination. And you have also a flock of birds here, this little stamp. And then the next thing that you'll see in your kit is your um, acrylic block. And that acrylic block is what you would use to attach your stamp to. So you just peel your stamp off of the, the plastic here and attach it to your acrylic block. And then you would take your ink, open it up, and then um, ink it up. The first time you use these stamps, you want to clean them real good too. Um, there's usually some residue left on, on the stamps from when they were created. Um, so you want to clean, clean off that residue before you use them and, until it's not sticky anymore. Um, and that, that, that's what I find has worked best for me is to just give them a good cleaning. And what I use to clean them is some Stampin' Mist. It's, um, it can be bought in my online store and you get a nice big bottle of it and then I use my stamp and scrub to squirt this on and then clean my clean my stamps off before I um, ink them up and use them to stamp my my images so the, that's the first things that come in this kit and the next um, is the kit itself and so you'll see here the picture of the three cards that come in this um, best destination kit. There's three each of three different designs. And so let's open it up and I'll show you what else is comes in this kit. So we take a little pair of scissors here. And the nice thing about these kits too is that they always come with coordinating envelopes for your cards. So that's what I really like. So here are the coordinating envelopes. Oh, look at that with the palm trees on the front. Isn't that cute? I like it a lot. That's a very nice, very nice image to coordinate with your with your card. So let's see if all the envelopes are the same. Um, here's three with the palm trees. Oh, nope. Here's three with mountains on the front of your envelope. And then there's three with water and some cliffs. Very cool. I like that a lot. Very neat. So, um, since this is the um, best destination kit, the, all these places here are, are definite destinations that people, people go to on vacation. So the next thing that comes in the kit is some Stampin' Dimensionals. These, um, in case you don't know, are 3D or um, dimensional. They're, they're double backed adhesive and then um, you just use it to adhere your parts and pieces to your card and it gives them a little bit of height 
when you put these dimensionals behind behind it and attach it to your card. So you get a nice supply of those. And then you get some twine, looks like, in kind of a neutral beige color. So we've got a, a whole thing of twine here. Looks like a glue dot stuck to one of them. All right. And then we also have some glue dots. And glue dots are also double-sided adhesive, just like the dimensionals, only they're much thinner. Um, so you just peel the backing off and then attach stuff to, to using those as well. So it's just um, your adhesive. So that is another thing that comes in this kit. And then we've got our, let me get this box out of the way here. Then we have our card bases. So we should have three different designs and three different card bases for each design. So let's go to the first one here. Um, here's the palm trees. So I, I'm assuming that goes with the palm tree envelopes. And this looks like it's got some punch outs. So that's really cool. Oh, I like that. So you punch that out. Oh, and it's a trifold card. Look at that. All of the card bases are pre-scored. So you just fold it on the score line. And so here, when you close the, the flap on the right and close the flap on the left, you can see the design through the, the little opening. Isn't that cute? And there's some shimmer and shine on those clouds too. Isn't that cool? I love it. Very cool. So that's card base number one. And then here's card base number two. This is the mountain one, so that would go with the, whoop, I just knocked the camera. That would go with the mountain envelopes. And again, it's got a little punch out. You just punch that piece out. And then your trifold, you would close this flap over and then this flap over that one and then your mountains show through the opening and the mountains have some shimmer and shine on the tops. Isn't that cool? So it looks like snow-capped mountains. I love it. And the little town down in the valley. Very cool. And this looks like a little train coming across. Oh my gosh. So adorable. I love it. All right. So you get three of those. And then the, the, four, the third one is... the water one. So that would go with your water envelope, the water and cliffs envelope. See how that matches? So nice. And so once again, you just fold that one over and fold this over on the score line. And then the picture shows through. Oh, look at that archway. Is that ever cool? I just, oh my gosh, I can't get over how neat this is. And then your water has some shimmer and shine to it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not, but you can see some, some shimmer there. Very cool. So then we have three of those. What else do we have here? We've got some cutouts, it looks like. Got some sailboats to punch out. And we've got some a car it looks like a car with some luggage on top to punch out and some flowers so you just um punch all these little die cuts out and those will get um, attached to your card base at some point let me show you what else we have in here get that out of the way and then we have some labels so lots of different labels. There's that one and that one. And what's nice too is they always give you some extras. So because, um, see we have four of these and, and four of these and four of these. So if you mess one up when you're stamping your sentiment, you always have a backup so you can redo it. Or you can always flip it over and do stamp on the back side as well um, if you mess up on one side. So you would just punch all of these pieces out as well. And then the next thing that comes in your kit is your directions. So let me pull those out. 
And this cardboard piece you can get rid of or recycle. I just keep knocking the camera here. Um, so then we open it up and the instructions go step by step for each card. So up in the corner here, this is card number one, card number two, and card number three. And um, it shows you, you use your ink and you use the, the acrylic block and your stamps um, and you stamp your sentiment on this little rectangular shaped um, label. Uh, life is a journey and then you would uh, stamp your clouds up in the up in the cloud up here so you'd want to stamp it up here so it would show through um, you don't want to go it up too high so that it gets covered up by the the front flap and then um, what's next you just fold it in half and, and a half again and then uh, oh and then you add your um, what looks like glue dots. I, bl I believe those are glue dots, not dimensionals, to um, the sailboat and to your label. And then you would attach your sailboat. Oh, I just knocked it again. I'm going to have to find a better setup for this camera. Um, you attach your sailboat here and you would attach your you would get some twine. Here's your twine. You would cut some of your twine. And what's nice too is this, um, along this, the edge of the directions, is a ruler. So you can um, measure out how much, how much um, twine to cut. And it tells you here to cut about 11 inches. And then you make kind of a bow and put a glue dot in the center. And it put it up in the corner and then attach your... Um, Life is a journey sentiment in the corner. But do you see how they only put glue dots in kind of an L shape? They didn't put it in this corner down here. That's because you don't want that corner to attach to your inside piece. So let me show you here. Where is that? So it so here, if you're putting this here. And you open it you'll see this little corner down here you don't want to put any um, adhesive there because then it'll stick to the inside of your card so that's a helpful little hint there um, so that's card number one and then card number two again you would stamp the moon up in the in the sky and stamp um, happiness is the best destination on your little label that's shaped like like this and then you would um, get some twine again and, and this looks like this is six inches so you can again use your ruler along the edge here to measure six inches of twine and cut it and then um, it looks like they're attaching that little flower that die cut flower where, where did that go um hmm can't find it at the moment oh here it is so this little flower here they're attaching that to the upper corner of that label. And I lost the label now. There it is. So just up there like that. And putting some uh, a little bow on the on the front of the flower. And then that card is done. Isn't that great? And then the third card. They're um, stamping their birds, the flock of birds here up in the sky, and then they're stamping the adventure is just beginning on the label that's got the chevron on the end, this one here. And they're using about six inches of twine and attaching that to the to the label. Oh, it looks like the label has a punch here, a little hole punch. You just got to poke that piece out there and then you can um, put your twine through the hole like they're showing in the directions here and tie your knot and then um, attach that down at the beginning or down at the bottom and then attach your little car looks like they're using some um, dimensionals just along the bottom of the car because you don't want the car to get stuck on the on the inside of the card let's see which one is that this one here I believe yeah, so here's your road. So you'll put your car on the road. And yeah.
and then then that card is done on the back of the directions they always talk about um, all the parts and pieces that come in the kit all the kit components and then it also talks about um, coordinating stampin up colors so um, the, the colors used in this kit are daffodil delight and flirty flamingo granny apple green pretty peacock misty moonlight cajun craze gorgeous grape balmy blue shaded spruce fresh freesia and coastal cabana so if you wanted to make an alternate card and not follow these instructions but um, use your own um, supplies you could um, coordinate very nicely with using any of these colors and um, that's what some people like to do is come up with their own design so um, if you want to follow the instructions like like it says here you can do that otherwise you can come up with your own and that's all I have for this this uh, kit I hope you will um, order it you can order it from my online store and and then um, have fun making them and sending them. The best part is sending them. To, well, I can't say that. The best part is making them for me anyway, but it's also fun to send them to someone and see the joy in their face when they receive it and um, hear the joy of, of them receiving happy mail. So this is Tammy with TammyLoveStamping.com and I hope you um, like this video and share it with your friends and head to my online store and then um, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, um, you can do that at TammyLovesStamping.com. Thanks and take care and have a crafty day. God bless.